I sat down getting ready to edit this video for you guys and realized I've completely wiped the SD cards with the footage for the beginning of this video. So bear with me. Okay, so hello my lovelies, welcome back to the channel. In the last episode I told you we were going to be working on Oma the Tacoma and that's exactly what we're going to do. We have a 3 inch BDS lift with some Fox shocks that we need to get installed on her today because tomorrow we leave for Moab with new wheels and tires and we are going to put her through her paces. So it's time to head on over to the shop, go meet a friend who's going to help us and get it done. All right, we have those wheels and tires off. So let's go take a look at exactly what comes in the lift kit and then let's get it on here. All right, so here we have the full two to three inch coilover system for the 2005 and up Toyota Tacoma. We've got the Fox Performance Elite Series coilovers, two and a half inches, and the BDS upper performance control arms, which when paired with the Fox shocks, increase the stability of the vehicle and enables the Tacoma's full travel, which is exactly what I'm looking for. These arms are very much stronger than the factory units and improve clearance and corrects the new upper ball joint angle on the new lift. It's a greasable joint protected by a cap and has hard rubber bushings so that they're going to be pretty quiet and they're going to last a while. All right, let's talk about the rear for a second. We're going to be adding a leaf, which is going to increase the spring rate just a wee bit more. This is exactly where you're going to be looking for when you have weight in the back of the truck. There's new center pins, there's new spring clamps and new bolts. And this kit allows clearance for up to 33 inch tires, which is perfect for me because I'll be putting on some Firestone 33 inch MT2s on some KMC bead locks. Now BDS really do make this very easy because the shocks come pre-tuned, um, which means all you have to do is pretty much bolt them in. Now, because I have a Tacoma that's a 2015, I will be getting that full three inches. Anything above 2016 and above, you'll be getting that two inch lift. Okay, so you've probably noticed on the reservoir, there is a DSC adjustment here, meaning dual speed compression, which means you can change the dampening on the shock depending on the terrain or just how you drive okay how are we feeling about it so far i know why i like jeeps me too you know oma's oh it's old and rusty under here apparently <laughs> apparently it doesn't look too bad though probably the worst thing so far is getting that quarter pin out it took about 25 minutes for each one so whilst rudy and i are working on this obviously we have new wheels and tires, and Walter is patiently working his way through all of them. There's only eight of them. They look so well, good, though. Ooh. So which ones are going on Oma, and which ones are going on the Comanche? Sorry, I gotta go. I gotta go work. I'm forming. We just need to get this out of the way so that we can get into that bolt. Yeah, that's perfect. Right there. Oh, this is going to be easy. Oh my gosh. Uh -oh. Now that everything is out and we're just going to start install everything in there, it's time for lunch before these boys get hangry. I'm not going to lie, I might get hangry too. Time for lunch. People are like, oh, there's no way you don't lose, you don't get everybody so We're looking good, so we finally got um, the shocks and the arm out, everything out of the way. It was a little bit finickety, but we got it done. Correct me if I'm wrong, Rudy is a step in front. Boom! Wow. I feel like the Tacoma is not worthy of such clean, shiny things. Definitely not. 
Wow, Rudy. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Perfect. Would you look at that? All right, we're going to tag team on this part. There is a very small bolt that goes in between the upper arm. Said bolt. Through there. Interesting. We're going to have to go down. We're going to have to go down. I thought so. All right, let's try that. Okay, this needs to go on that. And then I arm also. Can you get work. it in on that angle? Oh, stop, come back a little bit. I think you're in. Ooh. All right. There we go. Come on through, my friend. And it made it all the way? Look at that! Woo! I feel like a million bucks! That was a lot easier with two people. A lot easier with two people. I love how we wanted to divide and conquer. That cotter pin is acting like those other ones. I'm not happy about it. At least it's a new one. That's beautiful. Well, I would say maybe we should also try to crank the wheels just to see con contact points. Sway bar, uh, sway bar is not hitting. Look how much flex that tire has with 45 pounds of air in it. Look at the bottom. Okay, we'll check this out. <laughs> oh, it's you're not gonna like it. <laughs> I marked off exactly where I wanted to cut the front there, just so that the wheels and tires didn't catch on anything and were bound up. Is it ideal? No, not at the moment, but we did the best that we can. So I left Rudy to do that on the front and I continued on with the rear. Now this kit really is very simple to install. I would never think in a million years that I would be installing a lift kit on something that I'm gonna be driving daily. So of course, safety first jack stands underneath there because you are going to be almost taking the axle out from underneath. You're going to be loosening all of the brake lines, ABS lines, and you're going to be taking the shocks out and you're going to be loosening those leafs up to get that other leaf in there. So just make sure that you have all the safety equipment first.
we really only had half a day to install this because as I said before, we're heading to Moab. So it was all hands on deck until this was finished. Huge shout out to Walter and Rudy for getting it done with me. It is an absolutely gorgeous morning. We're all lined up, ready to go. And we have an array of vehicles here with us over the next couple of days. So it's time to hop on in Oma the Tacoma. And uh, look at her, not so Oma-ish. Maybe we have to rename her, I don't know. But we're gonna hop in her right now and uh, we're gonna start, I guess, hitting some dirt trails because that's all this one can do at the moment. Paul, yeah. I forgot how to use this because I don't air down. <laughs> what the heck? I'm not even joking. Hey, we're at the trailhead for Gemini Bridges. Everyone has aired down. I have aired my tires down to 15. We're just gonna go have some fun. Yards. I'm gonna get. Can you make it? No. We know. That's not far. So we're here at Gemini Bridges. Oh wow. Oh wow. So I thought that we were gonna be driving over the bridges, but apparently they're closed to driving. So you have to walk here. But it's beautiful. The arches are gorgeous. It's just um, your typical Moab view, to be honest with you. Gorgeous rocks, little bushes everywhere, and then just crazy formations. I look over at Paul and I'm like, oh, is that ice in They'll the top of his to Pepsi? No. no. it's cashews. Cashews. <laughs> They're delicious, really. It's like peanuts. You have to leave them in there for a couple hours and then they ferment and they get squishy and then they're good. Have any of you had, had this combo? I mean, Rudy says it's delicious. Paul obviously is in love. It's, yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Like if you're driving a long ways at night and you need to stay awake, mm -hmm. this. Because you drink caffeine and then you're chewing on stuff the whole time. Okay, but do we have we have to have come up with a name for it? it Can't it just be cashews and Pepsi? They made songs about it. Yeah. Did they it, really? It exists. Mm -hmm. Like this is this predates us. Oh yeah. Now it's I'm gonna new. have to look it up. You learn something new every day. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
this first day was absolutely incredible. I'm doing trails I would never imagine doing with Mischief Maker. So I'm really getting a whole new Moab experience and it's just so nice. The fact that I'm wheeling Oma is kind of mind blowing to me, but she feels absolutely great with that BDS and Fox combo. And uh, the tires, it's pretty interesting wheeling on smaller tires, but I have to say, I'm kind of loving it. The fact that we managed to get everything done before the deadline of coming here to Moab is just crazy. I mean, we were down to the last minute. And as you can see, we're having fun so far. You're going to want to check into next Saturday's video, though, because I talked to Paul and Rudy and I said, are you down for a small tire challenge? So that's exactly what we did so make sure that you tune into that next saturday it's a lot of fun and uh yeah you'll get to see how paul wheels on 35s and rudy wheels in a comanche on 33s and i wheel oma the tacoma yeah pretty crazy now the holidays are coming up and a lot of you have been ordering so thank you so so much if you want to grab your stuff before the holidays come up head on over to mischiefmakertv.com where you can find all your merchandise and sticker packs and I will get them out to you as soon as possible I'm going to be doing another shipment out on Tuesday so for those of you who have ordered your orders will ship out on Tuesday but I gotta get to sleep because we've got more things going on so as always guys, thanks for watching.